Hi folks, my name is Mitch. Just doing another video on a game that I'm currently playing called Harvest Town. Please keep in mind that this game is currently in beta, so anything mentioned here may or may not change in the future. Today I'm going to be talking about how to efficiently utilize your special milks, the ones that you get to refill your vitality. Also, I'm going to be talking about how to make the most out of the wood that you can obtain throughout the entire town especially if you don't have a lot of space in your farm already to build a small little forest. I know some people are starting off with the game uh, brand new. They need a lot of wood to build their buildings, to upgrade their farms, and so on and so forth. So first things first, to basically save on your special milk, because you will burn out of this um, if you're playing the game quite frequently, is that once you unlock the the occult cave every in-game day you can <clears throat> pretty much get yourself killed in here and not worry about wasting the entire day your health and your vitality will refill up to max as of right now my vitality is at 54 and I don't want to use any milk I want to save on this milk and this is what I've been doing throughout the, in the entire time that I've been playing so I go to any floor, just pick whatever floor you want to go to, find some mobs. Let's try to drag a couple of mobs with me. And you just basically, you want to get yourself killed. And the reason why is because, like I said before, once you die, you have a free revive. You don't have to pay any diamonds, you don't have to watch any ads. And this should do it right here with this special attack. There you go. All right, so you can leave um, something, a message that you want, or you can leave nothing at all. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and just keep in mind, also, if you were to bump into any of these tombstones, you can destroy them with a pickaxe. So if it's in your way, just use a pickaxe and they'll go away. So here's a free revive. You don't take any damage for a few seconds and you can leave the area. So as you see there, my vitality has filled up. I'm back at 440. I did not use any milk. The day did not pass by. I'm not back in my bed. And I can re-equip my gear. And go back to what I was doing. Anywhere. Okay, so let's start back at the hometown. <clears throat> and this is how I plan out my day especially if I need to gather, gather wood. This tree right here, this specific tree, is my signal tree. And what I mean by that is once this tree right here is full grown, this indicates to me that the majority of the trees inside <clears throat> the town itself are fully grown. They're ready to be harvested or chopped down. And that's how I replenish my wood. I don't actually plant trees in my uh, farm itself just because again like I said before the lack of space kind of prevents me from doing so it's not something that I want to <clears throat> kind of <clears throat> kind of focus on I have a different plan that I want to do so no trees in here with the exception of any decorations or anything that might have just grown overnight or whatever let's go back outside so here's the first tree this tells me that everything else is ready to be harvested. You can go all the way down here. So these trees are, are, are good to go. This tree won't grow just because there's this tree right here that blocks the way. And these two trees in here, fully grown. And you just go all the way around. If the trees fall into the water, that's that's just how it goes. You can't really do anything about it, but you'll still get a little uh, a little bit of wood from them. <clears throat> there's trees up here trees down here and when we come over to this area here more trees so as you see as long as you kind of keep this up you can have an abundance of wood you shouldn't have any problems as long as you know where all the locations are and once you gain a little bit of experience then you should be able to uh, cut the trees accordingly so they don't fall into the water or 
cut the trees so not too much falls into the water. There's this tree right here that you can cut. You can't cut the ones in the lake because this doesn't allow swimming. Uh, these mobs are very weak. You can kill them rather easily. There's trees over there. Trees all the way through here. On this side here. And if there's spots that you can't access because the button is in the way or whatever the case is all you got to do is just you highlight your axe you get off the horse and then you just hold on to the button and then it'll automatically go to the next tree to chop down so I'm gonna show you the main area for the biggest forest inside the town which is in the carpenters area so there's trees here trees there There's trees on the side of the ranch in the next zone over here on the top where the bus station is. And as you see, everything here has fully grown. So they're all basically being, they're, they're ready to harvest. And this is the little forest area here. So again, like I said before, I didn't really grow trees on my plot. I just used the trees that just kind of grew around town. And that first tree that I showed you at the beginning where you enter town is the signal that I used to let me know that, hey, it's time to chop everything down. Um, and I spend the entire day doing so. Uh, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If you haven't done so already, please uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks again for watching. Take care.